Hi folks, it's been a while since I made a video on YouTube. Uh, I think it's last year or something like this when I had uh, my Hicks 366. So, like you see in front of you, I changed my tractor this year and uh, for a bigger one because uh, the need was there. And I already do uh, 19 hours on this one. It's a Kauti CK20S. Well, uh, to give you a, a small uh, story about it, uh, a few years ago I was looking, already looking to what I'm gonna buy to replace uh, my X366 John Deere. And uh, I did go see John Deere, uh, Kubota, and uh, you know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not partial with uh, any brand, you know, anything that is good and well built, uh, it's good enough for me. Anyway, so, and uh, two years ago, uh, I, I checked my email and <laughs> I found uh, an email from 2012 on the Kubota uh, tractor, uh, a B3030 or something like this, I don't remember exactly, but about the, ma uh, the, uh, the same setting of this one, you know. Um, factory uh, cab uh, with the heater blower um, loader I mean and uh, a snow blower in the back for the Kubota the tractor was let's say a bit bigger than this one was about uh, I think 25 or 27 maybe 30 uh, horsepower I don't remember anyway the the cost of the tractor with the loader and the back uh, snow blower was uh, 37,000 uh, dollar Canadian so it was uh, pretty big to swallow but anyways so you know I keep uh, looking to maybe a use or new or whatsoever so anyway to make a long story short uh, we had uh, we have a county dealer that just opened uh, not from far from here about five five clicks or something like this so one day uh, I was passing by and I said to my son hey we're gonna go uh, look at uh, what they uh, what they have you know so uh, I came in the showroom and uh, has a guy you know I want a small tractor with the front snow blower and uh, an original uh, o OEM cab you know he said oh I still have one from uh, the beginning of the winter uh, that it was not sale though so it's a uh, 2013 uh, in the in the storage in the back so we're going to storage in the back and I see that puppy and I fell in love with it because of his size because my 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 main concern was I want the tractor in my garage uh, like you can see here but well you don't see it because it's already done but I used to have a seven foot high uh, garage door I changed it for use one but I changed it for an eight foot a garage door so that the tractor can come in so I can you know uh, first of all keep it out of the element so it's gonna stay cleaner longer and uh, if I have to work on it and do stuff so uh, it's you know it's heated and uh, and that's it anyway I'm gonna make a quick review uh, from what I found uh, with it uh, with my uh, with the 19 hours I done on it I did a pretty nice stuff with it and uh, now I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty good with the tractor you know with the commands and uh, all the stuff and uh, I'm gonna go show you the first the first concern uh, of me was the foot pedal uh, first of all it's an hydrostatic hydro sorry hydrostatic transmission and my first concern was this here The what we call the ro ro rocker foot pedal reverse forward pedal as you can see the tractor is dirty yes I use it yes I didn't clean it <laughs> now but it's gonna come so uh, my, my uh, biggest concern was that f foot pedal I was used with John Deere you know side by side pedal uh, forward reverse blah 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 and I was asking myself do I'm gonna get comfortable with that kind of setup and this and that and frankly it took me about 15 minutes to get use of it and now I don't even think about it 
it's pretty easy and well I was uh, you know knocking my head uh, for nothing because it worked and I like it so a uh, quick view from the inside you know you see here uh, brakes pedal uh, twin brakes pedal so I can uh, can brake uh, one wheel at a time I don't know how you do that when you have the foot on the forward pr uh, forward p <laughs> forward pedal but anyways I didn't try it so anyway you know, with a hydro strategic you don't really use brake but anyway here a quick uh, view of the inside the the white cartoon box there it's uh, for to put my stuff in i'm gonna make some kind of nice uh, plastic uh, kind of glove box or something you know you put your gloves and pack of cigarette or whatever you know wh whatever you want and the seat oh my god that seat tabanouche it's so comfy man when we uh it's incredible only for the seat, the, 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 it's uh, night and day with the, <laughs> the small two spring seat uh, I had with the other one. Anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about the, some uh, two things that I found not flaw, but you know, uh, just uh, thing that I remarked. First is I'm gonna close the door here. First is the mirror here. You see now it's it's perfect you know and when I pass near the the, the mirror uh, I don't hit my head with but if I don't know if I want to catch it with the camera but if you look the written uh, on the mirror that you know it said uh, the object are closer that they appear blah 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 it's upside down because the mirror originally it's the other side so I was hitting my head all the time on it. So I see I just turned them and now it's okay. I don't hit it, them anymore. <laughs> it's not a flaw, but well, a small thing here. <clears throat> uh, and uh, oh yeah, you're gonna see some uh, some ding dang ding dang on the, the loader because the loader, that's why I had a good deal too on it. The loader passed the winter outside, the store outside the dealer. So the paint is a little bit fade and uh, I have some mini spot of rust on it. The bucket is a little bit, uh, you know, so-so, but I, I didn't care. The bucket is gonna be scratched anyway. So <laughs> uh, I install a hook on it and it's screw, you know, it kind of have a tubing here inside that. So it's strong enough. Uh, he, 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 he get me, uh, he give me, I mean, the cutting edge on the bucket. That is a very, not very nice, and uh, you see, yeah, look, you're gonna see a small ding dang that I was talking about. That because the bucket stay, uh, the, not the bucket, but the loader stay outside all winter. So, because it was a tractor, it was a, uh, um, it was the only one that was not sell last last year at the beginning of the winter. So, uh, you know, it was keep in the, the tractor itself with the blower because when I saw it in the stock room. It was mounted with the, the front blower that I'm going to show you a, a bit later on. Uh, you, get, you can see here the fitting is a bit like, uh, you know, not exactly brand new, but I don't mind, you know. He practically gave me the loader, so I'm not going to complain about that. So, yeah. Oh, wishy washer tank. Um, what I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah, this here. I find that uh, Kaoti has, I don't know if other have that, but you see the plug here? The plug here, it's it, it's a trailer plug. You can buy the, 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 the bracket that go there and have a seven, uh, seven uh, pin plug for trailers. Oh. And I have the rear auxiliary hydraulic. I have two, two, two of them, that's a very nice feature. It's not coming standard with with that, but the tractor was mounted with it, so he give me a price for for uh, with that on it. Anyways, my hand glitch is a bit rusty, but uh, I think you understand very good. Uh, the uh, the other thing, I'm gonna go the other side again. The other thing that I find that's that's a flaw. That's a flaw. I'm gonna fix that pretty soon. Here we go. I'm gonna show you just right here. Uh, well, I don't know if you catch it. Okay, you see here the the pedal is for the dif uh, differential lock. 
and the small shifter on the side it's for the mechanically engaged uh, front wheel drive to have uh, four by four, uh, uh, the 4x4 four four engage all the time. The thing is you have to push it down to have the 4x4. Four four. When you push it down you don't have any more access to your uh, differential lock uh, pedal and I find the lever for the 4x4 four four a bit too low so I'm gonna probably just do I'm gonna probably just bend it a bit like this to move to raise a bit the lever you know like this so I'm gonna I'm gonna it's gonna be less far to reach and I'm gonna still be able to reach the diff uh, lock uh, pedal that's the only very flaw that I find that was like kind of annoying but not you know for me it's nothing anyways you see the control here I'm gonna show you a bit the top uh, oh, you see you can put speaker radio switch command the heater is there you have a four big vent here and I don't know if you see it good the dash yeah the dash steering oh yeah guys you're gonna love me look I could resist myself <laughs> yeah 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 John Deere still in me but it's okay <laughs> clutch pedal the cab is really really well made you know all glass windows uh, front open the uh, windshield here <coughs> nice uh, work lamp I ordered the back one with a switch so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have it. The, the wire is already installed. I don't only need the. I don't know if you can see it, but a small hole there. It's the, the wire is inside, and the, the work work lens go go there. Uh, well, oh, uh, I don't know if you're gonna see it. Uh, yeah, probably. If you look at on top, on top of it, I'll try to. Yeah, here we go. I put a beacon on, but a LED one this time. I like it. Nice feature. Well, you need that when you do blow, snow blow, and uh, work uh, around the street, and uh, you know it's for security matter. Okay. So and oh yeah, why a blower? Oh, I did buy that for this year to mow the grass because. I don't have a mower anymore because I didn't buy the mower for the tractor so we, we bought that for this year it's gonna do the job you know I don't have a big big land I have about a one third of a hanker and you know if you if you, if you remove the garage the house the pool the the, 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 the cabanon whatever so it's anyway so it's a uh, auto track uh, I don't know very up speed whatever we're gonna try that for this year and if you don't like that maybe next year I'm gonna buy a small lawn mower okay that's it for the John Deere here 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 but you see here it's the subframe for the snow blower look at the size of that my friend it's built like a tank you see the drive uh, drive shaft the long drive shaft that coming from the the front mount, uh, the mid mount, I mean uh, PTO and cylinder, hose, everything to, to install that is very easy you see the pin there you have one pin in the back like this and the other one is a bit uh, hidden but uh, you have another pin in the front I'm gonna try to find it, where is it? oh here, yeah you see the hole another pin that go there and you hook up that's it and that's the snow blower sorry I have a, a panel and in front of it that's the front snow blower 54 inch it's built exactly like a rear one you know thick quarter inch quarter inch steel here 3 8 I think 3 8 
number 50 chain no 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 block uh, no gearbox aluminum gearbox in the middle here so I'm not gonna be worried to break it or so whatever the impeller in the back is uh, 18 in 18 inches and it's pretty well made like you can see the chute is uh, hydraulically uh, rotated and uh, it's mounted on, on the Teflon uh, block so it's very smooth to swing uh, left to right and uh, the for the, the pitch of the chute it's a fixed bar for now but I kept one actuator that I'm going to install on it for sure to have it uh, you know electrical so I'm gonna pause the camera for a second I'm gonna open the hood on this baby and show you what is inside okay Steve. here we go I opened the hood because you need two hands to open it well I know it's a detail but about the hood I like it because it's made of whoop, thick steel you see it's not flimsy or you know you open it it's only one big piece that open and uh, it's not like you scare of bent it or something you know you have a small rod to that go behind hook behind here somewhere when you close it the rod the screen screen here Oh, it's it's screw, yeah, yeah, right. It's screw here, so we have to unscrew it to, you know, the screen that protect debris from the rod. Small horn, batteries, air filter, uh, and you, I don't know if the camera gonna get it, but yeah, you see the small pin here. It's to remove this the small side panel here, and uh, to get access if you need repair something or whatever you know that's the engine three cylinder 22 horsepower a lot of torque a lot of torque pretty happy with it on this side you're gonna see the alternator they come all equipped with 50 uh, amp alternator uh, probably the camera and I'm not gonna catch it but uh, I'm gonna try if no, it's too dark. But the uh, the gas, uh, but not the gas, but the 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 dipstick for the oil is there. Very easy. You can just you know you don't have to move the loader, or whatever. You just have to pull it and check it. Filter oil filter is there too, so pretty easy to change uh, the filter. About the filter, you have uh, also the the hydrostatic filter here. And uh, you have the fuel filter with a shutoff valve right here. Yeah, right here. So that's about it, I think. Uh, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I break something on it. The, the rear window is open. I break the handle. <laughs> That's the only thing, I break the handle. Uh, probably was defect from the factory anyway. So <laughs> I'm gonna have that replaced. <laughs> uh, here's the command for the 3.H for the auxiliary uh, uh, hydraulic output to the, in the back. You have here the hydro hydrostatic uh, fuel, uh, not fuel, but uh, fluid uh, oil that uh, you can add here. The, the gauge to check the gauge to check the oil on the hydrostatic it's it's a little bit hidden by the the isolation here but it's right there you just lift that and it is in the I don't know it's in the corner here I think I don't get it because it's too dark but you get the point anyways so um, that's about it I think for the first review I love it I love that tractor I move I had three big 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 rock on my my line long line, line whatever 
and I wanted to remove them because it was so pain in the ass, you know. Anyways, and one of them was about, I think, thousand pounds or something. Anyway, it was freaking heavy, so uh, I, I was not able to get it with the with the loader in the front because the bucket was not big enough. So I rig, I had some steel and I rig up. Uh, I don't know if you can see by the window. <coughs> no, not gonna see it. But I made I made pallet forks with uh, some uh, three inch, uh, quarter inch thick, uh, three inch at a C channel that I made for the three point itch in the back. And uh, I moved the fucking rock. I moved it, and okay, it was about the maximum that the, that can be lifted. But the tractor handled it with no problem, and you know I like it. Uh, now only time will tell if it's you know uh, reliable uh, and in time. But I think it's they are pretty good tractor. They are not, uh, you know, they are not. Uh, they are very well built and uh, by the way this is not a sub compact utility tractor it is a compact utility tractor uh, it's the smallest one that I could find on the market that was a cut not a, a scut or whatever you we can call it you know uh, I'm gonna try to the tractor is pretty bigger than the other one so the, to have a good point of view with the camera I have to go back in the corner of the garage anyways so I'm gonna move the chair there that's okay here we go oh oh bang bang in the shelf in the back of me anyway so that's the tractor I like it very much uh, well power torques I thought 22 was eh, a bit low and this and that, but I try it. I have the chance to try it with the snowblower on it and uh, the loader with the big rocks. I I almost I I, I also tow. Uh, <laughs> I had a scrap uh, Ford Ranger in my driveway that I took some part uh, on it, and I I took the tractor with my forks in the back of the tra uh, of the Ranger and I bring it to the scrapyard because the scrapyard is not far away. It's about one kilometer away. So I take the tractor and bring the truck there. So um, I, very, 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 I'm very glad to have buy that. And by the way, at the beginning of the video, I talked to you about the price of the Kubota that I was uh, looking at. Uh, this one cost me with the tax, okay, Twenty-seven thousand dollar. That's pretty, pretty, pretty good price, I think, because it's kind of ten thousand less than the, about the similar tractor for um, a Kubota. Uh, if you take the BX uh, twenty-six uh, seventy, you don't have an original cab on it. You're gonna have, uh, I mean, a, f a factory cab. You're gonna have a Curtis cab or something they are nice but they are not factory you know and uh, to, have, to get a factory on a Kubota you have to go bigger tractor and the same thing on John Deere you have to go to the 3720 or something like this that is pretty pretty big tractor <clears throat> so me my, my my goal was to find a small small uh, tractor with those feature you know with the factory cab factory heater you know uh, not because I don't like uh, do modification on them, but you know, f to have some comfort. Okay. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for now. I'm gonna try uh, this summer to uh, shoot some video of the tractor working, uh, whatever I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna try to keep you informed about that. Kaoti Ciki 20S. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, keep looking.